But we had a mega drama during the MS show, mega drama. Well, hello my lovelies and welcome to Paris Fashion Week. Now here we are at the last leg of the Fashion Month journey. I need like a few moments to get back to, you know, myself. But what's really helping is that we've just arrived in Paris at Jour Sang, Four Seasons Hotel, which honestly, I am like, when I show you this room, this is not a room, this is like huge suite and I cannot wait to show it to you. So this is the entrance. Oh, this is so beautiful. I got some flowers. Look at these white roses I love. Actually, first thing, here on the left we have a bit of a kitchen situation there's some tea some coffee there's a fridge you know just in case you want to have a little something there's a guest bathroom over here and then when you enter there's this absolutely insane huge living room so on the left side there's a bit of a dining room area there is this gorgeous plate of strawberries and raspberries and black like i love it love it love it we have this closes okay so you can kind of close your little kitchen here more coffee, more stuff. There's a balcony even over there that overlooks Four Seasons Courtyard. I really love it. So over here, we have a sitting room area, some flowers, some cherries, my clothes, macaroons, chocolates, more flowers. I'm so lucky, honestly, I don't even know how. They have the most gorgeous floors here at Four Seasons. That bad, we're currently in process of ordering a mattress from Four Seasons, actually. You guys know that I'm looking for the best mattress. And then this is the wardrobe. So normally we would have rails during fashion week, but honestly, I don't even think I need a rail. I think I can just unpack everything here because it will be perfect. All my clothes is so well lit. I can see everything, my shoes, bags. It's going to be a dream then a full-length mirror always very important to me and I love this one because then you can see yourself from all the sides so you know very 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 handy really feeling blessed but you guys haven't even seen my favorite room because when you see it it is insane look at this bathtub oh, guaranteed I will be having a bath here throughout the fashion week I will set up my makeup here so I can do my makeup here this is for my mornings honestly this is so beautiful I want to move in here I'm loving it so that's my little Parisian home okay and now we're gonna get ready because we have a day of fittings i believe okay guys a little quick update i'm just going to change into something like more casual lighter because this was my travel outfit and we're gonna go to the fittings so let's do this i woke up thinking okay counting really how many days have we got till end of the fashion month but not because i'm ungrateful because trust me i'm so happy and so grateful to have this opportunity to be here especially because this paris fashion week guys I have ah, some of my favorite shows. We're gonna start with my favorite, favorite, favorite brand in the whole universe this fashion week. And it just feels so unreal. Like, I'm so happy. Should I just spill the beans? We're starting Paris Fashion Week with Saint Laurent show. Let's take the moment to breathe in, breathe out, to give the gratitude to the universe and to give ourselves a little tap on the back. Okay, today is a full day of fittings. So we have acne fitting, Isabel Moran fitting, Valentino fitting, Louis Vuitton fitting. Mm, I feel like there's more Giambattista Valley fitting. There's a lot. And we decided we're not gonna like update you every time from the car. Now we're going to this fitting. Now we're going to that fitting because it's just gonna be like anyway, a very long vlog. So you're just gonna see a lot of fittings this morning and probably some snacks and coffee runs in between because we're gonna have to be running on a lot of coffee. Eight more days filled with so far I think I have like 13 or 14 confirmed shows but like you know all the good ones like Louis Vuitton, Miu Miu, Valentino, Saint Laurent, Giambattista Valli, <laughs> Isabel Moran, did I say that already? Givenchy, it's going to be my first Givenchy show that I'm very excited for. There's a lot of really great stuff so I'm excited to bring you with me. So many cute things. What do I want? Oh, this is nice. Like it. Okay, guys, I love this jacket, but, and I love the dress. The dress is really cool, but I need to figure out if it's gonna be one or the other because together I think both pieces kind of get lost a bit. The 
this is dangerous to put on. I almost hurt myself putting it on. Besides, I'm just careful. <laughs> Look number one. Very cute, actually. I have this jacket that could work quite well as well. Very is Valmoran. Ignore the tag. Okay, that's one option. Let's see the other option. Okay, I have my look. I decided this is just gorgeous. I love this dress. I think it's very like in the DNA of Isabel Moran. I just would need like a pair of very cool boots. This would be also a very cute Coachella look, if you ask me. Love it. And I'm so happy. I love it. Love it, love it. It's first of all, it's a miracle that I fit this dress. It's like I love this. skirts, there's some that are like micro. And even Sarah, like when we try it, it's like, you know Sarah, I like it. This I one is amazing. I love it so much. Your oh, princess wow. is here. Oh, she has arrived. Then she fits. I, yeah. I love it. I love it. Very cute. Who wore it better, J-Lo or me? Obviously you. <laughs> I mean. Come on. Who wore it better? Guys, we have, we are like a very fast at fitting. So we have now 23 minutes until my Valentino fitting. We did this morning. Acne is Balmoran, Gian Valley. What we have left is Valentino and Louis Vuitton and that's all for the fittings I believe I did off-white yesterday so that's like six fittings Ah, oh, pretty good. Also, I did my some of the looks I already did before. I did also my salon run yesterday. So, 23 minutes. I'm editing a TikTok. I'm having coffee, second one, and I have my lunch here. This is a pret wrap. It's the avocado salad one. You know, just never, never like a spare moment. Always have to make sure that I feel every single second with something to do. Okay guys, last fitting of the day, I think you can see where we are. Oh, it's this way. Guys, I want everything. <gasps> this is so pretty. I think I got the best options, to be frank. This look, okay, very, very, very strong contender. Oh my God. But then, this is like from the commercial pieces, love it. <sighs> very cute okay i think i know what my look is this i remember i tried it on also for the cruise show okay it's going to be this this is from the last one ritual what is this i think i got my look already i mean okay guys five did i do five five fittings done for the day and i'm currently waiting for paul to come in 10 minutes time to get my hair well better and then i'm gonna go to saint laurent show i'm actually gonna go a little bit earlier to the show because the show starts sharply at eight so in two hours time i would aim already to be on my way to the show <sighs> very excited i just hope i'm not gonna be freezing because it's gonna be outside but nevertheless i'm so happy to be there so that's that next moment of paris fashion week hair makeup getting in my outfit shooting the look and let's go okay guys so last Saint Laurent show that I went to I wore like this really gorgeous dress it was open back it was September but you know it was kind of like it was warmer but still cold in the evenings but tonight I mean honestly it was freezing even during the day so I don't know how is it gonna be this time because the show is outside but I am loving my look I'm wearing like a classic black suit very sheer blouse underneath with nothing so I've got like things in place uh, this blazer I love so much so 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 much but wait to see the star of the show is the spring summer coat so the last collection last runway show it's gorgeous okay it's this butter leather i hope you have seen it in the last it's very 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 long hope you've seen it in the last runway show and let's try put it on without ruining my hair and everything i mean the hair is very it's supposed to be like this this is actually what the main piece of the look is and i'm gonna have very 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 high i'm gonna have my uh bianca platforms so this will get buttoned up a little bit not full down this i can also close but then i also have leather gloves so at least my hands will be warm i am absolutely obsessed i think opening paris fashion week with san Laurent, it doesn't get much better and also i have like several bags here with me i do have like my many san Laurent clutches and bags but i don't think i need a bag i think i'll just put my phone in my pocket here and that's it
guys, it is 23.54 right now and I just got home. I actually, after the San Juan show, I went for a dinner with Luis Oma. It was really, really nice. I don't think I vlogged much because at that point of the day, I was just so tired. The reason why is I genuinely was really, really, really excited for the San Juan show. You guys probably know it. It is my favorite brand. It's like a brand that I believe like I have the most of. So the brand that I also like really love the history most of, I mean, I don't know, there's just so much that I love from Saint Laurent. So ah, to go to the show is just such a pleasure and such an honor, especially because their shows are really small, really exclusive and the clothing is just beyond gorgeous. That's all I can tell you. So I went to dinner afterwards. I feel a little bit tired now. And I have to get up really early in the morning. Like 6.30ish to get ready. And to get on with the day. I have a lot of appointments tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the acne show. What I really love about Paris is that. I can kind of like. Well the day after tomorrow is going to be really crazy. Because you, like uh, I'm going to have three shows. But you know what I mean. Like three shows is still fine. Comparing to Milan Fashion Week. So I'm really really happy. That I can just kind of like. Do my appointments tomorrow. Have an evening show. And shoot it. And that's it. That's that. I love you lots. I'm going to leave you now and I'm going to go to sleep. Good morning, day two of Paris Fashion Week. I just woke up under still impression of Anthony Vaccarello's YSL collection last night. That was the autumn winter 23. And honestly, I thought like the spring summer 23 collection was just like my favorite ever. After the spring summer 22, which was like the Paloma Picasso inspired one. But guys... This collection, from what I understood, was actually inspired by... You remember the movie Working Girl with Melanie Griffith? That movie with the leather jackets, like those kind of like a vintage looking... I posted on my story and I said this vintage look but not vintage jacket is just everything. It's just so good. The inspiration, the whole like the big shoulders. Wow. Honestly, it was like dramatic but so elegant and chic. And I think like the elegance is something that people forget the importance of elegance in everything, not just in dressing. You can dress as a tomboy but be elegant and you might be thinking, hmm, how? It's just because elegance is almost, I feel like, the mind frame. Even the way you behave, the way you speak, I think elegance is everything. And like the way you carry yourself, it's such a huge part of it. And I'm always so inspired by Saint Laurent. It's incredible so yeah i posted my picture of the look i posted the reel already all my stories and today's a new day i'm dying for a cup of coffee but i think it's on its way and today's plans so i think i have three meetings today because today is always quite chill. I have acne show tonight. But I have three meetings today. Probably one presentation. I'm gonna stop by Hermes. Because we guys know how much I love it. And Paris is my place. The Hermes show is I believe on Saturday. So and I don't even know what day of the week is today. I think it's Wednesday. Yeah. So yeah we have some time still. But I want to stop by the shop to do some shopping. Before the end of Paris Fashion Week. And today seems like it's kind of possible with my schedule. So yeah let's get going. Hi, Filippo. Uh-huh. What do you think we're gonna get? I hope a box letter. Okay, guys, we are getting ready for Acne Studios show. I am kind of trying to do makeup a little bit more edgy, so it's gonna be nothing really much on the eyes, but more focus on these dark lips. Okay, so this is going to be my look. The jeans are, well, basically ideal is that if you don't like someone, you just give them like a very strong hug. And voila, this is the look. It's kind of painful to sit on these, not gonna lie. Okay, guys, so this is the look. It's quite like edgy. It's very different for me. It's probably one of the only looks that I'm like, this is not like 100% my style, but what this is, is like me kind of really when I'm feeling like dressing up and having a bit of a role, like we all do, right? From time to time, I feel like once during Milan Fashion Week, I wore like this black lipstick, like a different kind of look. You know, sometimes you just feel like you want your alter ego to come out. I packed this Acne Studios bag. Someone's just texting me, oh, it's Filippo. I'll have my mic in there. Maybe my card, I don't really need it. It's just at the show. And then I have dinner. It's going to be big dinner just like friends dinner it's gonna be 10 of us so this is it and let's go to the show
guys it is 8 42 it feels like it's 3 a.m in my head it was so cold in agnes studios show that we put 27 degrees in the car and i put a coat on and i still feel like i'm cold like my hands are frozen but i would have loved now to just go home and have a hot shower but we're going to just congratulate style not common his new book going quickly to see him to see the book and then going back home i put something really comfy and cozy on not that this isn't comfy but i almost hurt myself a few times with the spikes and then i'm gonna eat something because i feel like it's gonna be 10 basically by the time that i get something nice little dinner with my boyfriend and our friends the show was i would say this collection was stronger than the previous two because it was really really it's always creative right but i felt like there was a lot of really interesting textures materials shapes all of the above like a lot of volume kind of like a nature inspired as well i really enjoyed it i find like always acne studios runway to be beyond creative which is very nice tonight i should really have an early early night in I should really just order room service and eat rather than go out because tomorrow we have a very busy day and I'm just reading comments on my Milan Fashion Week vlog you guys are saying that you really enjoy aspects of me actually uh, kind of interviewing other influencers so we're definitely going to keep that new direction in and continue doing that throughout Paris Fashion Week Good morning guys, new day, this is officially day three of shows and day three of Paris Fashion Week and I'm going to off-white this morning. So my look is pretty insane, well it's not complete yet but I got this dress on, it says off here and this trench, this trench is from men's collection, I actually really love wearing off-white men's collection as always, it's just so good especially for jackets and here we have my boots let me show them to you because i think they're pretty epic i will link them below if i can find them available already it's a bit of a matrix look if i may say and it's this sort of like a knee high spring heel you know like the i don't know what this is called in english actually this type of spring that you can play with as a kid someone let me know and then knee-high boot black so all black outfit i think i have a black bag too which i have no idea where it is this is the bag i think a lot of my looks this paris fashion week are gonna be all black let's hope my throat doesn't give up on me this is the look i think i'm gonna need my second coffee before we head to off-white i had my hair i just washed my hair this morning i had it done by frank provo you guys missed that but we will change hair throughout the day so you'll see that hopefully i'm so happy to start another day in paris let's go to off-white <laughs> We're here with Off-White. Oh, yes. And what do you expect to see today? Some fashions. You know, Off-White is like one of those very, very cool brands mm -hmm. that are just so directional, progressive, forward. Very forward then. Yeah. yeah. And it's cool, you know? It's really hard to find brands that are actually relevant and cool at the same yeah. time. Or to stay, like it's very hard to stay relevant as well, I think. You know, everybody has a moment. Of course. Even influencers. Yeah. Well, I've had my moment for 17 years, so I don't about you how long is ten your years, moment 10 years of a moment that's good you know, but uh, I mean, it's a what, once you reach 10 years it's not a moment anymore so you're gonna be an icon you know i think time is time is wow good morning good morning do you want to come here are you very busy working is, is my manager very busy you good look morning. great good morning sunshine. how is good morning. life very good back to off-white you guys we're here with yes. the show i mean the land the set I feel like I'm in planet Mars with a red... Mars, yeah. Do you feel like you're in Mars? You know. I mean, are we Martians? Uh, we are Martians. Well, the makeup is very good. Thank you, know. you very much. Apparently, it took her five minutes to do. Yes, always. Five well, minutes. Well, thank you so much Brows for your participation. Are on point. Thank you. You look on point. You know. You look very chic. Caroline! I thought you were late. No, I was like... Let me see. Are we having matching boots? Love it. Let's see what's this. It's a t-shirt. I always keep these show t-shirts, they're the best. I love them. I love them. I know what you love them for. Oh, Sleeping. Uh, anyway, so people I love need space. Them. I need space. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally you. <laughs> Guys. Okay, show it to the camera. I need space. Yeah. I have one question for you. Quick question. How many hours did you sleep last night? 
last night, be honest. Five. So what did you Not do bad. last night? I just had a dinner Same. and I was back at 12. Okay. I didn't Same. go out. Same. But I was, on my lap I was on my laptop until like 2. Uh -huh. And then I went today at 7 to a cycling class. Oh my god. Guys, she does cycling class during Fashion Week. Well, if you ever wonder, this body is powered by our power. Oh, by the You like that? Yes. I love your outfit. Show, yeah. show us the bag. It's cute, no? Very cute. Maybe I should not put this inside. We got back to the room, it's 1.15. We just ordered room service breakfast. <laughs> That's how kinda um, disabled. I don't even know if you saw this dress properly with these like holes. I really, really love it. I was saying like, I wanna keep my look for off-white because I really love it. It's very chic, it's clean. I feel like off-white is going away a little bit from the kind of the conventional streetwear and it's maintaining its DNA which is like Virgil's DNA of course that no one will ever be able to replace but I just think that they're going into this kind of like more elevated materials like the way everything was made direction and the show was the proof today there were obviously like Naomi Campbell guys the way that she she walks nothing comes close to it but there was just like this poise with the whole collection there was was like a very much what I love is this jacket that has like a cross kind of like a strap I don't know what you want to call it but it's very like off-white but this time it was more like eveningish more sophisticated she elevated I think that's the direction that the brand is heading I really thought that the shoes and the bags were stronger than ever which I don't think was like a strong point of off-white but I feel like it's getting great I love the sort of like cowboyish boots I, I I thought that was great and I love the frilly dresses I saw like Anna Vintour like there was this like one frilly dress dress that walked past and I saw Hannah Vintour like really approved so that was great at the end uh, art director Ibu Kamara and Naomi Campbell walked out and it was like very emotional I thought the venue was spectacular I'm sure we can all agree so right now the breakfast is hopefully coming I'm texting my boyfriend's mom and I'm posting the stories because we're gonna have to go to Givenchy next okay guys we are at home and the next is Givenchy and this is going to be my first Givenchy show I actually have two looks i think i should try them both on i am kind of more inclined to wear this dress is like a leather dress with this gorgeous stitching because this could go really well with my own shark lock boots where are they over here in the shoe section you see them there in the corner this is my little shoe heaven but um the shark lock boots i think would go really well with that dress i have here some other things that have arrived and i have the suit option but i can wear this dress with the blazer from the suit otherwise well if i wear a suit Givenchy actually sent me shoes that go with it these pointy ones and then we have this bag as well very excited that's it i think the hairdressers here were changing the look and i hope i'm not gonna do anything crazy i think i'm gonna put a bathrobe on now because to take this dress off i will probably ruin the hair no matter what i do okay guys we're changing up the hair for Givenchy and isabel moran kind of like something because my looks well my first look is certain a little bit more edgy i wanted to kind of like follow the cool style hair as well but keeping straight no curls so that's the plan i had my hair done and this is breakfast at like what time is it you're not gonna believe it 14 14 good luck for me let's try the coffee i have to tell you one thing okay well this looks very promising very yeah yeah oh, i love it I'm really into hot coffee today. There's one thing. So Paris has these incredible palaces, right? I believe there's like 11 or 12 that are known like the really big, beautiful hotels. So far, I've stayed at many. And there's just one thing that's missing. Good coffee. But let's test this one. Taste test incoming. This is shockingly good. I need to tell Filippo because... And also, it's oat. Wow, it's really good. Very, very, very happy. And it's very hot, which I like because I'm coming down with something. Should be lunch, but I've got my avocado toast, porridge, also some berries in for the porridge, some toast, some eggs. We're gonna quickly eat now because then I have to get dressed. Do you have to leave? 
Okay guys, since it's my first Givenchy show ever, I thought it would be quite nice to actually do a proper invite reveal as well. To be honest, it came in this like really cute kind of leather pouch envelope. I mean, this could be a nice little clutch. No, you put your card in, you can put something, you know, quite cute. It's like croc embossed Givenchy. And then here's my invitation. It says, Givenchy invites Madame Tamara Kanye to see to be 77 to the blah, blah, blah. Where is it? École Militaire. Okay, it's not that far. It's in the 8th, right? 7th, yeah, across the river. So that's that. We're going to bring that. Doesn't fit in my bag, which is very cute. I love the chain. Uh, it doesn't fit in my bag because not much fits, but it's so cute. These are my own shark lock boots because I decided to wear the look with the dress. So leather dress, blazer, and that's the look for Givenchy. <laughs> This is the best fashion week gift, a Givenchy ginger shot, love it. How long did it take you guys to get ready for the show? Senia is like, this is such a boring question. Okay, uh, what do you want me to ask you? What was your last meal? Yeah, I had a pizza margarita and a curry, both. I had it sounds like a horrible. I really did. <laughs> that does not surprise me on the slightest. It took me one minute to You know, this. I'm gonna steal a question so from the Gucci TikTok, so I, I'm crediting them, but it was if pretty cool. Nobody's looking, cold. I'm dancing. When, no. What is one thing you cannot live without? Gloria. Tequila. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say your black Amex. Yes, I can't. My sugar daddy. Your husband is hot, so, so I don't funny. think there's any sugar daddy so there. Funny. What about you, Xenia? One thing you can't live without, and the Rue doesn't count. I wanted to. I Rue! Oh, Rue doesn't count. Then it's again. No, people don't count. That's why Rue doesn't count. I know what it is. Coffee! Duh. Good espresso, but I was gonna also say your agenda. I could live without it. Yes? I can. It would not be pleasant, but I could. Laura's <laughs> like, I still can't live without, without tequila. <laughs> I changed my agenda even if it passed already. If I did something different than it was in my calendar, you I change, change it back? It, even if it happened already. I know, I, I do that too. The OCD. I think Gloria yeah, deserves a too. whole vlog for herself because I that agree. personality, what you a, can never, is unmatchable. Authors. And all the odd little things she does are just unmatchable. No, I mean, it was unmatchable. tequila, tequila, black MX. Uh, <laughs> Sugar daddy. Iconic, iconic. Anyway, iconic. So now, cheers to our health. Okay, wait. Oh, you know what we should do? No. No. Do you know that filter on TikTok and you cannot make a funny face when you drink a tequila shot? Wait, let's do this! But this is not tequila. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Sadly I mean, for Gloria. getting ready for Isabel Run show. I really love my look. It's like super Isabel Run. Hope I'm not flashing anybody because the dress is very short. Look, I undid my hair just to wear it like different again. One thing that I have to say is that I am starting to feel a little bit sick, but I'm not surprised. I mean, I did so many like freezing cold nights and also like sleepless nights and not eating really properly, mm, but it's all fine. I'm going to drink something now. I need to drink more. I'm going to two cocktails before Isabel Moran's show, then Isabel Moran's show, then I have dinner with friends and then I'm going to come home and sleep because at 8 a.m. I have a hairdresser coming. I need to drink, right? Some vitamins and let's go. Okay, guys, we are actually in a very messy car, I'm sorry. It's been a long day, huh? Uh, we're on our way to LVMH Prize Cocktail. LVMH Prize is a really beautiful initiative by LVMH. They take like all the young fashion talents who are basically presenting their collections and then a winner gets 300,000 euro prize and then the mentorship from the LVMH. And I can't wait to actually to see the collections, the different signers, their presentations. So we're gonna have like a little 10 minute like stop. Then we're heading to Dolce & Gabbana cocktail. They're also having one in Paris for the Kim collection. And then we're heading to, but I'll update you when it comes to that later. There's this um, Isabel Moran. I love the invite. She's always so creative with the invitations. And this time it's like, it looks like a coat check. You know what you get at the coat check or like fun fair, the coupons and things like that. So that's that. To keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to. Senia, 
Yeah. My followers have asked me a few questions that they would like me to ask my fellow sea partners. And fortunately or unfortunately, it's you again. There's a question that says, I'm going to do juicy questions from now on because, you know, it's the end of fashion month. I need some, I'm taking some hints because we're very close. So, has another influencer ever been mean to you? Actually here. Yes? Last season, I was taking a photo, uh -huh. like a photo call, yeah. but on the runway, and this person wanted to pass, but I was taking a photo for like three seconds, and then she like pushed me. That was not nice. And I kept posing because I'm a professional. And you kept pushing the person? On the photo. <laughs> yeah. No, I just kept posing. I'm like, you're not ruining my photo. I think, I thought you were going to say that I was mean to you in the past. No, I think you're just really honest. You cannot confuse honesty with mean, you know? One thing I have to say is that I believe strongly is that when someone is mean to you, you should never stoop that low and be mean back. No. I love that you just continue doing your thing. You know, like when someone is mean to you, you just continue doing your thing. You do not stoop. And that's a note for all of my fellow viewers who have like, you know, a lot of office spaces are toxic as well. Yeah, but it's I don't think they push, no? <laughs> oh my God, like honestly, it can be very toxic. Ouch. Yeah, I think my advice is always, always, always stay true to yourself and your values and in the end, there's always karma. Period. Period. Preach. Period. I woke up very sick. I was just like, I don't want to do anything today, basically, that's how I felt. But I had a Prada deadline for a project to deliver today. And I also had to shoot like other projects that we have to shoot while we're in Paris because this was the only morning that we had free. So, no line. I woke up at 8, I think. That was kind of okay because I went to bed at like 1.30. I had my hair done by Frank Provo team very early in the morning. It was like specific for the theme that we needed to shoot. Then we shot a lot more. And now we're gonna get dressed by the way there's a lot of like novelty here as you can see i think i'm not sure when i'm gonna go live with the unboxing of this i promise you it's exciting but it's either going to be one video before the fashion week or one video after we don't know anyway come follow me here we have like a bit of invitations here today we received my louis vuitton invite this season the envelope is looking blue red and white i was wanted to say the uk flag but actually it's a french flag that that makes much more sense when it comes to Louis Vuitton. I receive a present from Vuitton as well. But I think I'm going to have to wait for the Vuitton show to open it. I'm just gonna have a little sneak peek because I'm excited. Uh, anyway, what did I want to tell you? Today we have Gian Battista Valli's show and we have Alessandro Rich show. So it's pretty easy shooting projects. The shoes that I wanted to show you are, I will link them below in case you want to get them because I think they're gorgeous for, well, summer. These Aminas I got. I don't know who remembers these Saint Laurent shoes. I've shown them in Black Friday video as well in red, but I think black are just so gorgeous. The only problem for me with Saint Laurent shoes is that now when I buy shoes, I have to think like, do I already have them? because it could happen that I accidentally buy two because I'm so obsessed with Saint Laurent shoes and I feel like I have all of them. There's another pair, a new pair, brown, that I saw recently, but I'm like, okay, I have to stop somewhere. So right now I'm gonna change for Gian Battista Valli and we have to go to the show. There is only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, 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 you A 
Okay, guys, several hours later, after Jumbo Testavali show, we came home, got some soup, ginger shots, hot shots, something like that. And now I unboxed the gift that I received from Alessandro Rich. These earrings, I'm not gonna wear them right now. They're clip on earrings though, they're very, very cute. Sort of like a vintage look, but I'm going for a bit of like a feisty vibe. I'll show you what I'm gonna wear. Really cute though. She does really great earrings. Let me show you. Come with me. Okay, so over here we have, I need to pack my bag. Also, I'm charging my phone. Today is also a progressively getting sicker day but there's not much really i can do i already asked my management team to remove as much as possible to my calendar like those kind of like unnecessary things like cocktails i don't know so i'm doing like shows but we also just counted we have eight shows left so after the sandwich show we will be halfway through in my bag i'm putting my card holder lipstick this is my throat stuff hair tie i don't need sunglasses this is the bag i'm wearing these new shoes i will link them below really love 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 them alessandro rich look and hold on this is probably the longest coat that i've ever had in history of all coats and even with high heels it's dragging as you can see the point is that you kind of like belt it in a bit and you lift it you see like this so it looks bigger on top and i love that vibe let me see let me style it properly so you see ignore this mic that won't be here obviously in the look with my bag as well with silver colored hardware as well and this is it and we're going to alessandro rich now Okay guys, today's almost over, but not quite. We got back from Alessandro Rich and I've changed my outfit, heading to Le Perouse for dinner tonight with friends. And then afterwards there's like a cocktail party. Honestly, I don't think I can make it all because I have a meeting at 9 a.m. and tomorrow's a big day. We have our mess show. I don't know how much I love it. Just wanted to show you quickly the dress of the night before I head out. I got this, this is like a coated denim, a Rick Cohen's dress. I have it in a short version too. Kind of contemplating if I should shorten it a little bit with scissors myself but i feel like that's the vibe it's supposed to be long or maybe i like slouch it up a bit we'll see I i'm gonna figure it out how it looks best i'm gonna have black saint laurent blazer and because i didn't really want to wear my mini kelly actually i think i'm gonna wear my saint laurent bag the same one that i wore to alessandro rich show and that's that i'm not gonna stay long because i really need to sleep and tomorrow morning i have a meeting early morning so need to be fresh faced now let's go Good morning, guys. Day five of Paris Fashion Week. I believe it's five. I don't know. I lost count. With Paris, is impossible to keep count. Honestly, like, it's just one big, huge fashion marathon. Paul is here. Hi. He's doing my hair. We're doing, like, something bouncy, fresh, cool, with a bit of, like, you know, those kind of hair pieces, like, tight in the front, so it looks like a hairband. I have two shows today, Hermes and... Elisab and I have Hermes after party tonight and I have also Etro dinner. I think this is the Hermes after party invitation. I haven't even opened it. Yep, it's really cool. I was wondering who is doing their graphics because it's like Hermes club. How cute, no? Uh, it's all in um, French. A célébrer la collection femme autumn hiver. Uh, yeah, that's French. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up for more French lessons from Tamara. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And then, yeah, I'm just basically at this point trying to survive and feel healthy because honestly, it's not it. It's just getting worse. But my sister literally texted me this morning and she said 72 hours more. Guys, okay, so this is my look for Hermes. It's quite burgundy. Wearing my own shoes, the Kelly ones. I just dropped the camera on this marble floor and it's surprisingly still alive. Obviously you can see those lines, but that's to do with the light don't worry about that so very very happy another thing is that i wanted to tell you the new bag that i got Hermes would go so well with this look <sighs> but i haven't unboxed it yet so i'm not gonna worry can you guess what it is we need to go because the show's pretty far and i also want to shoot the look so let's see what we have i was trying to decide which bag to wear but it's going to be this one and we need to go okay guys we are on our way the traffic's already looking 
dreadful but it's okay we have time i believe yeah i feel like i haven't had one second this morning to update you on anything because i woke up i had a meeting then i filmed the video then the hairdresser came then i got dressed we packed the bags we're going to one show then to the other show and it's like just such a whirlwind but i got dressed in my hermes look it's like a burgundy and brown so that's that i feel like every time that i have like a very important show like when i had the Saint Laurent, and now when i have hermes i'm a little bit like i don't want to say nervous but kind of excited also now that i'm like feeling a little bit sick like the light sensitivity everything is like guys another level i can't even tell you but it's okay we're pushing through i really cannot wait to see the ray to wear collection because i feel that it might be my just personal taste but for me hermes autumn winter collections are so strong with leather and jackets and coats let's see what kind of new bag they'll have i don't know if you guys remember the last season it was um desert with like little feathers that was just so insane so yeah we'll try and see excited to see my friends we'll try and do some like little interviews for you guys since you like it so much and uh, yeah hopefully this is the pace of traffic I could walk faster okay guys what can I tell you from the entrance one word luxury okay hi but I have to give a special moment to Princess Solana I haven't seen you since forever This is the top of the season, apparently. You hear them calling, shouting your name. Okay, Xenia Adons, what is your next Hermes purchase? I want a hair so I can buy it before you. Nothing. I'm saving money. Ah, that's such a lie. Such your a nose. Lie. <laughs> I can see your nose like growing. I'm like twitching. <laughs> Tell me, tell me, what is the next Hermes bag? No, I'm, I honestly, I'm kind of good. Said nobody ever? I don't know. Unless we go together, then it's fun. Then it's, it's only so fun, fun with tomorrow. Guys, we have the best shopping Hermes bag stories ever. Exactly, but when we go together, it makes sense. Yeah. But by myself, I'm like, no. Nah. Once we shop the bags. I just like to share my happiness. She asked for like a gray, like a deep gray Birkin, and asked for, I asked for a Kelly, and when they offered us the bags, I could see on Sydney face she wasn't fully into it and I really liked her bag and she, I, I saw that she was a bit envious about what I got offered so I was like bestie do you want to swap and she's like yes so we swap no I'm so happy I'm so happy so okay let's see what else is new here and let's see the show ready so ready guys I just saw what I think is going to be next on my wish list. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with this Birkin 25 shadow in gold. Yes, I love it. I need your cargo, but... Cargo is maybe now my favorite bag I own. It's my favorite, it's amazing. Love it. I love it. You look gorgeous. You look I love you so much. Love you. Hi guys, that was Hermes show. Honestly, what can I tell you? Is there a show that I could enjoy as much as that? That is just pleasure for the eyes. Having seen the Birkin, like the new Birkin with sort of like straps on it and then the Birkin with a fringe. I mean, honestly, it was gorgeous. The ovation at the end was spectacular, but we had a mega drama during the Hermes show, mega drama. In the previous video, in the Q&A, you guys asked me what was the worst driver that I ever had. I think we said it's too soon. So basically, my Elisab show look was in the car, together with some precious belongings, like handbag and other stuff. And during the show, the driver just texted us, like, I have to go. I have an emergency. Didn't explain anything. We were like, wait, wait, wait a second, just to get the bags out of the car. But he left. And now I don't have my Elisab look. We don't have, like, important personal belongings, cards, things that were there. I wanted to cry at the one point because I was like, I can't believe this is happening. But we have to go, get a change for Elisab, go to Elisab show and figure out how we're going to resolve this as we go. It's just like a very much unnecessary drama. A little update from my phone. I don't know how, if we make it, I don't know how we're going to make it. I had to stop by to change. So, let's hold. I make it to the show. Guys, it's 
449 luckily had two looks for Elisa which I already told you and luckily I now I feel so sick because I ran so much because I didn't even have the key for the room so I had to go to the reception luckily Azure sang there just like honestly so fast everything was so fast I ran up the stairs I changed into the look there was housekeeping in the room I don't even think they noticed me because I walked straight into the wardrobe changed and ran out yeah didn't even have time to freshen up or anything like that I feel awful we're just saying life likes to keep things interesting for us but if we make it to this show I mean obviously I'm constantly texting with the Elisab team being like I'm sorry I hope I make it they know the situation obviously I am gonna do whatever is required to make it there if I need to run I will run so it's just you know unnecessary stress when i'm like sick and cold and everything and yeah Caro, do you have one for you me always, i only have one, one. She, she always says that you know no, she, like, always try. One. she always has one no i, don't. I, don't. I only I have you one. so much you know today i was filming a video and i was saying you know Caro is this kind of girl that she would gift her makeup artist a designer handbag i did i know that's why that's why I said it. Anyway, guys, I have a question for you. What is the last thing you ate, Helena? Uh, Be honest. Avocado toast this morning. Okay. So. Yeah, not too bad. Kinder country. <laughs> Christelle, what was the last thing you ate? I had a, a protein <laughs> shake, a protein smoothie good. for Wild okay. in the Moon. Ooh, I had the Bircher yeah. muesli. And One you? more question. Uh, Bircher muesli? Bircher muesli. In German we say Bircher yeah, muesli. Bircher muesli. I have um, one last question. What is the ugliest outfit you wore this fashion month? Mm. Good question. Ugly Today is my second day, so I'm, <laughs> I'm still good. I'm, I'm still so good. good. I'm still you know good. something, Chriselle? What's what? the worst outfit you wore this fashion month? Now that you're like, I could have done better. I know you know. You don't want to say it. <laughs> I don't know. This one? I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> I love Elisa, I'm just kidding. I, like I have to say anything with color, I always regret. Yeah? I don't know. I'm just in my black phase right now. Anything with color, I always regret. What was your my favorite? Worst, what so, was your favorite? Okay, I'll tell you. But my worst outfit was, I love the look of it, but I I was so uncomfortable because it, my acne studios look had so many spikes i was constantly hurting myself you know i was like spiking other people myself it was like i uh, like it was very hard and i almost tripped like three times same 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 <laughs> yeah because what i was, had like a tail okay what was your best outfit this fashion month we'll put some pictures <gasps> The Ferragamo one. Ferragamo. With the, uh, the, the red, red sparkle, one. I love it. Chriselle, favorite you Guys, look? I'm, I'm blanking. I don't even know what the f I wore this entire week. I'm, I'm just like okay. so dead. Your favorite fashion week look this this fashion. This! So this! It's so super good. comfortable. You look so chic. It's my second show, so I'm fresh. So <laughs> chic. My favorite look this fashion one. Well, I love my Michael Kors look. It was the green one. You know? Michael green. Kors? Yeah. Really? Why is so well, I don't know what you wore. I, wait, Why is it sponsored so by Kors video? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. But now sponsor now, okay? Yeah, but yeah. now, please, Michael yeah. Kors. Now, I love my Michael Kors look. It was gorgeous. I also love... I also love the off-white one. I love my Gucci this look. Yeah, this is off-white. I said I will never give this look back. Good. Yeah. Actually, I said it got lost by the courier, and they said, well, that's so sad because you will never be able to wear it again. It was a joke. <laughs> well, anyway, my favorite was Gucci. I loved my Saint Laurent look. That's it. Oh, yeah, the Saint Laurent. Yeah, well, anyway. The show's about to start, so as Brian would say, let's see some fashions. Hey guys, I am freezing, but we are arriving at Stella McCartney Pitting. The show is in two days, so I better pick a cool outfit. Let's see. Black coat, yes. I want to see if I wear a white top, I will go for the black coat. Oh, yeah, super cool. Also, yeah, this is a very, very, very long Stella coat. Yeah, yeah, super I love coat. this coat. I want to live your life, I want to dream your dreams, like the moons, catch them stars in the night. Every superpower that is yours will be mine. Good morning, guys. It's day five of Paris Fashion Week, I think. 
I feel a little bit better today. I'm not so sure. I felt like better. Then I had a coffee and then I felt worse. I felt like I couldn't even stand on my feet while waiting for the lift. Then now I'm feeling better. But there's no time to think about it because we have actually two shows today. We're starting with Palm Angels. The wardrobe is a mess. I was just getting dressed. I'm wearing these JW Anderson jeans with my Birkin cargo and Palm Angels team have sent me this uh, Palm Angels navy jacket. Navy is like my favorite color. I think it's navy. Yeah. I'm gonna try and pick a pair of shoes that work with this outfit outfit yeah that's what we need to do and then we're gonna head to the show because we literally have 15 minutes before the show from now so let's get going Okay guys, that was Palm Angels fashion show. This is the first time ever they showed in Paris. And I've actually attended Palm Angels shows so far in New York and in Milan. So the three cities out of four, basically. And one thing I wanted to say is that my boyfriend was at the show as well. And it's just, I've spoken about this on stories. I don't know if I actually addressed it in the videos. We never stayed together in the same hotels at the fashion week just because he has a lot of work. Like he's now running to appointment. I'm running to my appointment. I'm going to see him tonight at a dinner because we are having a dinner with friends and we're going to a cocktail afterwards together. But other than that, I don't really see him much throughout the day. But then just seeing him at the show is so nice. Even if it's like for five minutes, you feel like, I don't know, like it makes a little bit more special it's like going like when you go to the shows where you have your friends it's always a little bit nicer than when you go to a show where you, there's nobody you know you know what i mean so it's like a little sweet treat of the day i'm gonna change my hair up for valentino we're gonna do something a little bit more extra do content for valentino and then we see you at the show but we'll vlog all of that okay guys i am clearly really in love with these valentino nudes if we may say so especially after the couture show remember my look it was basically these shoes that tiktok went crazy about i don't think they're just out yet but i know that many people have put them on their wish list like they're very very popular and honestly i would like a pair myself this is a sample so they're not mine the brand dressed me for the show we are going in like 10 minutes because we want to take pictures first i had my hair done by Paul he was here just like an hour ago and honestly wanted to do something different with like a tiny curl but kind of put up you know to add something different did my makeup just glowy and fresh no liner no nothing no drama yeah love this like this is the second time in my life I'm wearing a cape I wore it also in Qatar remember uh, for the Valentino event guys I love this bag I have the same bag in gold you know it but I just love this kind of pink in Valentino it's called like Noisette or something like that color so my first First ever Valentino bag that was rock stud something rock stud it was in this color my first one ever and I loved it so much I wore it to like I wore the life out of it I loved it I might try and find a picture of it so I can insert it so I guess like I'm just in love with this color it's very very Valentino these earrings they're my own earrings I got them I think like before Christmas last year November it just so love them I mean I have a lot of pieces from Valentino in my wardrobe I love their ready to wear I think it's like one of the only houses just think about it one of the only houses that does equally well in accessories and in ready to wear it's very rare because if you think about fashion brands usually they're either very very you only buy like accessories from them like shoes and bags or you buy only clothes from them but you don't buy bags and shoes so it's very hard to actually think of a brand that is good at both and i think valentino really really is so that's that we're gonna go take a picture now i need to put this close this little button and off we go Okay hey guys, I just found my seat. It's my name. It happened to me before that somebody sits, actually during Paris Fashion Week, that someone sat on my seat and was like, oh, it's my name. And I was like, how is it your name? It's literally my name you're sitting on. But it happens, you know, we're all tired. It's been long, two more days. Very happy though, because I will be the first one seeing the looks because they are all coming from this gorgeous venue here. So Valentino starting soon.
Good morning. Day, is it six of Paris Fashion Week? Well, let me tell you one thing, guys. Not too long until it's done. And this morning when I woke up, I was so thankful for that. For several reasons, really. I think, like, the, today I have a 9.30 a.m. show. And in any other world, like, normally I'm the kind of girl that prefers morning shows to evening shows. Because in the morning I'm always, like, fresher, more energized. I'm, I'm like, let's go, let's get it, let's do it, you know? So today is the 27th day that I've been waking up every day, doing my makeup, going to the shows without one single day off. There has not been one day just because I did New York, London, Milan and Paris. And waking up at 6 or even 7 a.m. when I'm in Milan is no problem. Like I woke up at 4.30 when we came to Paris for the flight, you know, it's really, it was not a problem at all. But today waking up at 7 was like impossible. And I know some days it just seems easier, right? Than the others but it's not even that it's like a i feel like i swallowed glass b every night i come home at one earliest because last night valentina show was at 8 p.m the show finished kind of at nine got to my car by the time i went to shoot content it was like 9 30 i had a dinner at 9 30 finished dinner there was like a cocktail afterwards so when you put everything together there's no way to come home before 1 a.m every night right then i have a very long shower because i feel like i need it every night and then i do my my content posting from that day which then takes like another certain amount of time and then I go to bed so to wake up then at 7 a.m feeling like you swallowed glass is just a little bit like cannot wait to be home in my bed and not have to do that but on the other side there's so much excitement in me the excitement that is like you're doing what you love you're going to the best shows I feel great guys I feel great I mean honestly you know to be in Paris Fashion Week to go to shows here it's like like another level. Paris is not an easy city to crack. It's a city full of these very, very big fashion houses, like most historical ones, right? We know that. So, you know, last night for me to be front row at Valentino's show and to see all this beauty and these stairs and the models coming down, it was just like a goosebumps moment, if I may say so. And this morning we're going to Stella McCartney. I've been following Stella's work for ever <laughs> and I even like you know I even wore her sustainable gowns on like a green carpet I, I even have a picture with her twice in my career so good morning oh, I've never been more excited to see you but literally coffee feels like the best thing and also I'm so happy because last Paris Fashion Week for Stella McCartney in the morning I wore a full white look I'll insert the picture I am all in white this morning literally for Stella McCartney show I'm wearing a total Stella look including a handbag which is I think very cute let me show it to you look at it and then I couldn't have my morning coffee because in the car I was so worried I'll spill all over myself so long story short this morning Sam McCartney I'm wearing the coolest trousers I don't know if you can see them but they have this detailing so here is like cotton and here is like a leather like material obviously we know that Sal McCartney doesn't use any animal origin materials so this is it there's this tank top that has a hole on the back and then I'm gonna reveal a top secret I also have a coat that I am gonna wear because they told me it's gonna be very cold in the venue and the coat I mean Stella coats are like the best so warm but the best thing is last night I slept sitting down so that I don't ruin my hair because this is the last night's hair yeah because there was no way so I couldn't have a hairdresser this morning and this is all like gelled up right and last night when I got home at 1 a.m. I was like okay now I could wash my hair then I could dry it then I would have to style it then I would have to wake up at 6 a.m. I would have to try and style it myself or I could sleep sitting try not to ruin the hair whole night and then in the morning zhuzh it up a bit and I literally just added these hair ties I need to fix it a bit because here something's happened I don't know what happened but I need to like fix it a bit and this is kind of what I came up with because it kind of goes with the look it's a bit of a tomb rider you you know vibes but yeah i think i've been talking too much because i just feel chatty so i love you and i'll see you at stella mccartney show
Okay, guys, that was Stella McCartney. Ah, for the first five minutes, first of all, I've never seen like a show with horses, right? For the first few minutes, I only paid attention to the horses, which probably isn't ideal, but honestly, that collection, I loved it. I always love Stella's Autumn Winter because you guys know what a huge fan I am of her coats, suits, tailoring, but let's not forget the dresses. In this collection, I think the dresses were really, really good. Now I'm frozen because the show was sort of outside. Look at my feet. Cannot feel my toes, okay? At least the broken one is better now. They the, the way the body heals is incredible. So now we're going back to the room. I need to wash my hair. I need to get back ready because we need to change everything for the Louis Vuitton show. So let's warm up. Okay, guys, 12.43. I'm posting a reel from Valentino last night. We did reel and pictures, so I want to like publish it because I think it's pretty cool. Alex is here from Frank Provo. We're doing hair for Louis Vuitton, so we're changing up. I washed my hair. I like dried it a little bit so that we can be faster done, which I, I think we did really well, huh? Yes. Very impressive teamwork. And uh, yeah, now we have like a little bit of time to do the hair. Then I'm going to retouch my makeup, get dressed. And we have to go to Louis Vuitton. Very, very excited to show you what we're going to do with the hair. I love kind of like this low sleek but low pony and we're just gonna add some accessory at the back which I think is something that kind of everybody can do as well at home right Alex yes. like you know you add like a cute accessory like some sort of like a wire or even Alex has so many it's like a sea of like she has a little Mary Poppins bag full of accessories <laughs> so now we can just choose whatever we want and but today we're gonna do like a silver colored wire to go on the low pony Makeup retouched, hair changed, put on my pants. I just saw this on detailing on the pocket. I was like, oh, look at this. It's like, you can't really see it, but when you want to go into the pocket, you're like, wow, these trousers are, let me just show them to you. They're so insane. And then the stop, look at the detailing on the shoulder strap. Beautiful. This is the latest collection. And I was like, I need to pack my bag. My bag is the most gorgeous gift from my Louis Vuitton family. They are just incredible. Look at this, are you ready? It's this, oh, guys, it's like this soft case, kind of like a trunk, like soft trunk, I think it's called. Has a shoulder strap, I, oh, and a top handle. Should I wear it with a top handle, I think? It's so insane. I need to remove all the plastic because it has all these like obviously protected ends and I love it. I'm gonna kind of wear it like this, you know? This is so gorgeous. I am beyond happy. Put on shoes, pack the bag and we need to go to Orsay. Okay guys, welcome to Orsay Museum. I am so delighted to be here. Let's see. How do you like our bags? I love it. I love our bags. I love this so much. They're so cool. I love it. I look. Like... You look so beautiful. Are you Stop. always this beautiful? Yes, I am. I know. Why did you miss? I know. Okay. Today is the big day. I am loving today. So I love the chandeliers. Yeah. And it's very, 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 very Nicola because he loves to have a chandelier, a bit of drama, no? He told you him so. Of course. And uh, so Nicola sent you a text this morning. Yes, he said she was like, oh that my, God, my look Tamara. is the best. He said my look is the best. After Xenia, and he's like, Tamara, check out the ceiling. It's yes. so me. And point out to Xenia because she's so ADHD, she will not notice. <laughs> so true. And to Cairo. So true. Talking about which, shall we go find our seats? I know where it is. It's over there. Okay, Xenia, one question for you. Juicy. Has, oh, I already asked you. Okay, have you ever disliked an outfit you wear at the show? Yeah, many times. Really? But you know what? And when I choose it, I think it's so good. And then I put it on, and I'm like, oh, it's actually not that good. Hmm. Do you ever have that, or am I the only one? I literally never had that because once I put wow. it on, I'm like, now it is what it is. Yeah, but you can still look at it with a critical eye. So it means that also I, I like. I think I have it with every outfit. 
I'm like this with everything, but that means that you're like this I'm with everything. So, so have you ever chosen a guy, and then when you look at it the second time, you're like, oh, it's not that good actually. But when you met him in a club, you were like, oh, he's so good. But then no. the next day, you're like, oh my god. And we know that Xenia was a true party girl. So didn't happen with guys. Are you sure? Great taste. So is Jurgen still the one? I think he's still. The one. Never second thoughts. No. No? Barely. Only when I'm a bit, you know, like me. Decentered. Just when we are a little when bit. When I'm decentered, I question everything, but that rarely happens. Same girl. Okay. Well, let's let's see the show. Okay, Caro, question for you. Has another influencer ever been mean to you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You don't need to reveal, but tell us how. Um, I mean, people that I would already like hang out with and we'd be home and then, you know, like not mean like in an obvious way, but I think sometimes like when you're like in a, in a, you know, when you're actually like crossing and you're obviously seeing the other person, but you're like, and you're like, am I saying hi or you know what I mean? When it comes to a point where people, anything. no, when people don't like stop saying like, Hi, you know what I mean? Like you're close and then you see them another day and they don't even say hi. Yeah, because they're with another crowd of people. Like yeah. cooler you know, people. Yeah, yeah, cooler people. And, and you're like, all the time. and then you're like with another friend and they're and like, they oh, say, hi, 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 hi. oh my god, if someone you know came I mean? to my mind immediately. Same, oh, a same. lot of people came up to my mind. But someone you very know, specific same. came to my mind. Same. Yeah. Yes. So many people came to my mind. No, Do you guys I, remember once we were at the Valentino after party and someone was very mean to us? Yes. But I put them in their place. And Xenia, high five. Xenia. I, I was just, I was too stunned to speak. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm that kind of person that I hate like drama so much, so I forgot it already. So fine. Take Alexandra. Has anybody ever been mean to you in the industry? A hundred percent. And I feel like I'm going to sound repetitive because, yeah, same. I mean, people that actually decide suddenly, randomly, to not acknowledge your existence. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I had the same, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Because I have had happen to me twice. And you have them in I front of hi. you and they are like... Uh, yeah. And you're like, oh, okay. And then, for example, people who don't follow you, but then they tell you, they, they, they see you in person, yeah. they're like, oh, hi, I saw that you're wearing. And I was like, how? Yeah. You don't follow me. Like, that's very weird. Very weird. I don't know. But, you know, I stick to the right people, to the nice people in the industry, which we have yeah. like to found exactly. the, yes. a lot of peers that are actually very nice with us. So I think that's what we have to, you know, do. Do. Agree. Like, stick with the nicest. Couldn't agree more. Exactly. Well, let's wait for the show to love wins. Come. And love wins. I'm sending you a message that you should always be the bigger person. Exactly. Even when someone is... When they go low, you go high. You rise above. That's the message. Always be kind, guys. guys it's 6 20 now what you missed we came home we first shot some pictures i froze then got home then i was working on some content then i had to film a video so you will probably see the next video which is my unboxing in this t-shirt and then Paul arrived. Yeah. That's what happened. Curling your hair. And now the he's curling time. my hair like a very, very tiny curl. So I told him, Paul, I'm going to hate it. But he's very <laughs> confident that I'm going to yeah. love it. Okay, guys, I thought it's time that I show you the total look, the final look. We're off to Louis Vuitton dinner. I'm not sure what I'm going to vlog there. We're going to Bar de Pré, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite restaurants in London and Paris by Cyril Lignac. I love it so much. If you're in Paris, you have to go and check it out. Or London. We're going there... And I was just like thinking with Xenia, Caro, girls, Joel, Brian, everybody like is kind of trying to lie us what time we're going to go there. And I don't think I'm going to vlog much there. I'm just going to try and speak a little bit to my friends. It's the last night before the last show, which is tomorrow. So that's that. What I'm very excited about is that since this is the last day, my boyfriend will be coming tonight. So we'll sleep together in the same hotel instead of sleeping in two different hotels. So I'll see him, especially because after Paris Fashion Week, I'm going to rest a little bit. And then I have like three huge long haul trips before April. So yeah. Guys, do your friends also ask you to choose Instagram posts for them? Senia, are you also posting? Um, I'm trying, but 
I feel weird. Like this is so loserish what we're doing right now. I posted it's before like... the dinner. I cannot because I literally asked for another drink because she put my she straw the, in her she mouth. Went, she went to the bar. To yeah, get another drink. and she came to the bar to again. This can be the thumbnail. I don't share straws. How's your no? throat? No, oh, it's so long. Look. Yeah, same. You know, like before I had a nose job, I could actually touch the tip, but now my nose is shorter. You know, life sucks sometimes. Can you touch? Uh, almost. Good morning guys, welcome to George Song. I look very tired this morning, as you can see on my face. I know that my face is tired when I start getting these lines here and these lines at the bottom of my mouth. That means I'm very tired and I need like a facial massage that can fix that and tighten it up because everything starts, you know like how people get under eye bags when they're tired? Well, I get these lines here and these lines here because, and then like when I smile as well, I get like tension around that area. But that's the tiredness, it's normal. And you know what? I am going home today, hopefully, Sedio Vole or Akubogda, as we say, because in English it's God willing. Because, guys, there's a huge, huge, huge strike in Paris today. Philippe was leaving now, uh, right after this coffee. My driver will bring him to the train station because he's on one of the lucky uncancelled trains. I wanted to take a train to London after the Miu Miu show. Unfortunately, not possible because all the trains are cancelled. My flight got cancelled, then they bumped me on the earlier one. I'm really hoping I'm gonna make it, but honestly, if the show doesn't start on time, I'm not sure I will, or like relatively on time, because of all the delays, I need to rush to the airport. So today is going to be a fun, stressful day. Okay, guys, slowly getting ready to leave. You will see a lot of mess. I'm warning you, but this is the real deal. This is my Miu Miu look, by the way, and I'm packing in my Miu Miu look. So what can I tell you? So this is my look. I loved this look ever since I saw it on the runway last season. Let me just fix this underwear situation. It goes like this. It's very like a light, supple. There's the kind of buckle bra. When I first tried on this bra like in real life it looks fine but on camera it looked like crazy push-up situation and I was like no 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 there's gonna be a lot of photographers I can't go like this so because it was like really it was I would say it's quite flattering but it was just not look that I wanted so ended up putting some I don't know if you can see but these are some sort of like a bra extension straps always should have these in your fashion week luggage because you never know when a sample is just gonna be obviously unfortunately they're two different colors because i didn't have two black so i have one black and one nude so to make it a little bit less like tight and pushing but this is the look i have like some sandals as well i'm not gonna wear a bag because i feel like it's a utility look like you have all that you need here and then because of the strike that i mentioned briefly we have to like put the luggage immediately in the car now and straight from the show change in the car go to the airport and run to catch my flight if I don't catch my flight, I think the flights afterwards are cancelled. I am not gonna lie, it does bother me and stress me out because I need to like get out of Paris now. So that's that. Charging a little bit devices on the floor as it seems to be a theme of the fashion week. And uh, we're leaving. We're gonna shoot the look first. We're gonna go to the show. We're gonna change the outfit, head to the airport. And hopefully you will see me at the end of this vlog happy and feeling like I achieved something in a good way. Okay guys, so far so good. We made it to Miu Miu. I am loving my look. Hopefully you saw some of it. But the most important thing that I wanted to tell you is what's gonna happen like during the show. Like I, for me, last Miu Miu collection was perhaps the most beautiful collection of Paris Fashion Week. I loved it and I'm wearing it today. I mean guys, honestly, if you wanna see how this look all came together, you will have to go check my TikTok out. The sun won't shine till we meet again Be waiting all these stormy night, oh yeah Stormy night, oh yeah We found you on my way yet again We must be meant for each other good, oh yeah Baby, don't fight it Okay, let's go to the airport! Okay, 
you guys, I'm running to the airport. I need to make sure there's so many photographers that there's no underwear slip. I ran, I was like the first person to run out of Miu Miu Show now. I have to change into my airport look. And I just saw that well, I cannot even make it to the terminal. I have to go to another terminal, then take a shuttle, then take a bus, then who knows, like. And now I also realize in this whole crazy mess that I cannot find my memory card that I have all my content on. Oh. So anyway, all I can say is that it was a very intense month that I'm very, very grateful for you guys for sticking around throughout all of this journey. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm very grateful. Thank you for sticking around and I will see you in my next one. Bye.